life. And you know, today, you're looking everywhere for life. You're trying to experience life. You try to celebrate life. You're trying to do all kinds of stuff to life, but you don't actually realize that what you have and what you're experiencing and what you're doing is not life. Life is Jesus. Life is only in Jesus. And you really need to know that because you know like today's world tries to blind us with so many stuff, so much things. They're every day taking our focus away from Jesus, away from God, away from thinking about higher things, you know? So much superficiality around. What am I going to wear? How am I going to smell? Oh, do I have the best perfume in the world? Oh, did I buy chewing gum because maybe my breath will stink, you know? Like there are so many more important things in life. Like, did you ever actually realize that Jesus died for you personally? Did you ever realize that he did that for you? Thinking of you, having you before his eyes and his heart? She lost so many things. She's singing about losing. All the things I lost on you. Oh, he lost so much. Jesus lost so much. He was open for losing so you can gain today. And this is what real love does. Real love lost everything so you can gain everything. And the only question is if you really want to. Because if you want to, Jesus is open for you. Jesus is open. God is not angry with you. Whole anger of God was put on Jesus. Which means God put on himself the anger. You know, so the anger is not for you. He wants you to experience only life love and good things that he has for you the blessings that he has for you but you can only touch god through jesus because jesus is god and you know people again you know they have so many philosophies today oh god and is this and god is that no god is jesus only in jesus that is there is solution for every problem every addiction every demonic oppression everything like that has solution in jesus if you are sick with any kind of sickness and you need healing come to us and we will pray for you and we will heal you because the power of jesus is in us because he said that he's sending us he said i send you to the world you will be healing you will be casting out demons and we are doing that today so if you are sick, come and say, I am sick. Or, I am an, uh, I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm an alcoholic. I need to be free. And if that's you, are you addicted to sex? Whatever that is. Whatever that is, I don't care, you know. Sin is sin. There is no difference between gossiping and thinking bad about somebody and killing somebody. Of course, world makes a difference. And they say, oh, it's different. This is killing and this is gossiping. Yeah, but gossiping is like killing somebody in your heart, you know. So God needed to die for you, for all of your smallest gossips and all the bad things that you think in your heart about somebody that is better than you and you're maybe jealous for them. All of those thoughts that you have in your head, in your, in your heart. Did you actually realize that you can be beautiful on the outside and totally smelling like Oh, like shit inside of you you can be like a grave that is pure on the outside and beautiful you know like graves on cemeteries they are so beautiful right they make those beautiful stones like somebody's dying oh it's beautiful but inside what is inside it's just ashes you know people are today they are like beautiful on the outside and I was like this before but so full of bad things inside of me so much anger so much hatred oh my god I wanted to kill every girl that was more beautiful than I was I felt so rejected for like everything for everything you know I always felt worse than others I hated beautiful girls because I didn't know that I'm beautiful because when God was telling me I love you 
I didn't hear that because I wanted and I preferred to compare myself to others. And I want you to know that all this hatred, all of those demonic pressures that you have inside of you, hating people, thinking bad about them, just wishing them all the worst things in the world, you can be free from this burden because this is so heavy and I know that it has been bothering you for so much time. Because this is heavy. This is heavy on your heart. And if you come to Jesus, he can free you from those things. He can make you feel free. And not only make you feel free, but he can actually make you free. Jesus can set you free and only he can set you free from the darkness of your heart. And only you know what is there. And he also knows what is there inside of you. Even if on the outside you're the most beautiful girl or boy in the world. Right? So much narcissism today. Oh my God, so many narcissists. So many narcissists. I was narcissist. They say that if you have narcissistic personality, you cannot change. I did. They say that if you have all of those mind disorders, it's really difficult to change. Some people say it's impossible to change. I did. I had a couple of mental disorders and today I'm different. But most of it all, they say that narcissists don't change. Well, I did. I did change on the inside. And all this terrible darkness inside of me, it is gone. It is gone. And this is only because of Jesus and today, you know? Like, I don't, I, I don't know even how to tell you like how, how much grateful I am that he changed me. Because as I told you before, it was heavy on my heart. Narcissism was so heavy on my heart. I didn't feel good with it. All the darkness inside of me, I didn't feel good with this darkness. I felt, felt terrible, you know? But on the outside, I was pretending that everything's fine. And Jesus set me free. I am free today, you know? I, can, I am actually free to discover who I am, the real me. Not the narcissistic Anna, or not histrionics Anna, you know, or all of those kind of mental disorder stuff, like borderline Anna. No, I can actually today experience myself and be like, oh, wow, this is me? Great, that's awesome. You know, mental disorders, they don't let you experience your real self, you know. And I want you to know that you can be free today because there is freedom in Jesus. We will pray for you if you want healing. We will pray for you if you're sick in your body and if you're sick in your mind. I can personally lay my hands on your head. And the process of change in your life will start. I will pray for you. And there are many of us here that can do that. And we will be glad, you know. But most of all, I want you to know that Wherever you are, wherever you're going, but today, if today, honestly, you will talk to God and say, God, is your real name really Jesus because she said so? Well, yeah, he will tell you that it is. But do it for yourself and then tell him that you want to meet him. Tell Jesus that you want to meet him, that you want to experience him, you know? Thank you. Say, say to him like God thank you that you died for me and thank you that you resurrected yeah here I'm here yeah you're right thank you that you resurrected for me and I accept this present that you gave me because that was a present you know that was a gift you don't have to accept the gift if you don't want to but you can so why wouldn't you if this is the best gift ever Father, I pray that their minds, their thoughts will be set on you. I pray, Jesus, that you will be visible in their dreams, in their thoughts. Right now, I declare that their dreams will be about you. That they will dream about you and they will hear your voice in their dreams, in their heads. Father, I break all the curse of blindness on their eyes. I uncover their ears, their eyes right now. I say no to every demonic spirit that is just right now making them blind and deaf. 
Right now I proclaim that they will be seeking you and crying out to you. Zaczynam się i kończy ten Na ziemię przyszedł Boży Syn, który Bogiem był 